In today's video, I'm gonna master LEGO Stop Motion Animation for 24 hours. Let's get started. Well, don't lose the time. And let's go to the internet for the information and tutorials. Thanks to here a lot of all about this theme. So, the stop motion animation is a sequence of static frames. If they are alternating very fast, the illusion of movement is created. The rate at which these frames alternate is depend on the quality and complexity of animation. Okay, this for example how one frame looks per a second. This is 2, this is 12, and this is 25. This is as a reference frame rate, and almost all videos on YouTube and movies is being shown with such frame rate. If we increase the frame rate, the movement becomes more detailed, and such video can be even slowed down to enjoy every moment. But if you say about stop motion animation, a high frame rate is not desired, because it's made much more difficult creating process. Could you imagine that to create one second of video, you have to make 50 photos? For stop motion animation, it's normal the frame rate from 12 to 24 per second. When we determine the frame rate, we should go to choosing device that will make photos. It can be anything a digital camera, smartphone, webcam, or even intercom camera. Professional animators are used as SLR cameras to create quality animations. I force the beginning to start from the smartphone. It has also good enough camera, and we can install a special app, thanks to which creating the animations will be much more convenient. Such software is able to show the cut frames, change the frame rate, and set the transparency on the previous frame avoid confusion. To the frame will be static and later in the done animation won't have shakes. The camera or smartphone must be fixed reliable. So I made such frame or smartphone out of Lego technique. Thus the smartphone on the table in horizontal very easy. Also for reliable and to eliminate unnecessary movements, I put double side tapes on the table. They don't allow to slide around. A very important thing to consider when taking pictures is the light. Cool and quality result depends on right work with light. For light you should use only the artificial light sources. The sunlight in our case is misfits, because it's not constant and between the time you are preparing the next frame, the sun changes its position or goes behind the clouds and the light already be another. As a result your brick film will have a strobe effect. In our case you'll be fit, usual flashlights or table lamps. If you have you can use the soft boxes. To create unique atmosphere you can use colored light sources. I for instance have such flashlight that allows to put different color vinyl filters on itself. You for example can simple pen with color markers a piece of transparent plastic and put it in front of the lamp. Thus you can imitate the light of fire, flash of laser, jet and giant and other things. To preparing the scene for filming, as here our hands completely untied. Using all of pieces variety, we can design and repeat any places that you can just make it up. As a basis, very handy to use big base plates. But to also not slide, I'm stuck it on with double sided tape. In the background I located the mountain pieces. That's all, the film place is made. The characters of the movie, of course, will be minifigures. We can make a hero for every taste using different cloth and leg accessories. Also the presence of hats with many grimaces is very handy, because we could imitate emotions in scene of all kinds. Well, now the time for animation. Having opened YouTube, I found several simple and short tutorials with frame by frame animation. To get skills, I simply start to repeat the frames for the video tutorials. Firstly, I probably work out with the most basic movement, is walking. Frame by frame I made my first animation, and this is that I've got at the end. Yeah. Having master walking, I decided to attempt something more complicated, exactly the hit of minifigure, with four of wall or another. Here was a test for me already as working with two objects at once. I had to work hard, but the final result is pretty good. I decided to test my strength to the max and learn the animation of hard tricks. But how can the minifigure be taken photo in the air to it looks plausible? Holding in the hands is a bad idea, because it isn't possible to clearly fix the minifigure in the air to link the subsequent frames. The decision of such problem is this simple construction made with Lego. This is an axle on the pivot joint, at the end of which, with a double sided tape, can be attached minifigure. Using different moving pieces, the support with multiple degrees of freedom, and animate incredible tricks can be built. Ok, I'm gonna make the animation of flip. To do this first I made preparatory frames without support. Then during the jump, I will place the minifigure on the previously made device and made the frame animation of the flip. Yes, and the video support is visible, but it can be disguised at the video editing stage. Having mastered the best skills, I decided to make its final work, a little film with many story. 
When all frames were taken, we should go to the next stage, post-production. Here we should combine all taken frames in the one film and go into editing, coming back to the first point. While we are editing, we should take into account the frame rate. Also in this stage we should remove the elements from frames that mustn't be in the final film. For me that's a poor for tricks and flying. Now we can add some graphics and color editing. The last stage is adding the sound effects or the voice. You can voice everything yourself or find all you made sounds via the internet. So my time has come to an end. And now the time to show you my first brick film. It's my first work, and I am satisfied with it. But what do you think? That's all for me today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.